YouTube growers and no-till nuts, I'm the Rascal Farmer and welcome to another edition, episode 18 of No-Till No Worries, maybe? I don't know, I got some video I'm going to show you here from a couple days ago, I kind of freaked out just a little bit, um, we've had some death, uh, we had some bugs, um, yeah, it's basically been a war since the last time uh, you saw me. So uh, I'm going to go and show you some video, and God, I hope I can piece this all together and it makes sense, of a couple days ago and some video from yesterday, and then we'll come back in and we'll take a walk around the plants, and then we'll go into the veg room, and I'll show you what uh, I've been facing um, and uh, what happened. So... Uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm just about ready to flip the switch on these things and flower them. I am about stinking ready. They're ready. They look good. Um, we're going to see what we can do about these uh, thrips. Thrips! I hate thrips. All right, let's go show you some video. You know, even when they're doing really good, you can run into an issue. And I was over here doing some leaf stripping, and I started noticing. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. See the little marks there on the leaf? I'm actually going to strip this leaf off. Flip that over. And see if you can see what I see. Damn thrip. Damn thrip. So, I'm mixing up a 4 ounce per gallon dose of Method 1. And I'm going to come in here and I am going to blast this room. It looks pretty good. I'm just about ready to go into flower. And I don't want any bugs. Bugs down in the dirt, good. Bugs in my plants, really bad. I'm going to war, fellas. Thrips, you're going to die. Well, if that doesn't kill the little bastards, I don't know what will. That's a whole quart in this room. And they are wet. I made sure I got them good up underneath. I got the stems good. I got the top of the... Uh, all the tops of the leaves good. This room smells like mos rosemary and mint. Delicious. I hope thrips hate it. And I'm going to see if I can zoom this in. This is kind of cool. Look at that. Dead. Nice. Okay, so all of that thrip BS all took place a couple days ago, and I hosed them down with that method one, and now you look at them, and they look good. Look really healthy. Here's evidence of a leaf that had some thrip damage on it. But when I look over on the back side, I don't see a single thrip. So either I killed them all or they went back down into the soil. I don't really care where they went as long as they're not on my leaves. I can keep them in the soil. I just don't want them up top. <clears throat> So I am just about to throw these. The green ices are way ready to get thrown. The cheeses look good. That blue dream concerns me a little bit, but look at her. She looks a lot better since the last time. So I think one of the problems that I'm having with these thrips is, look at how tall my cover crop has gotten. Even though I cut it down right down to the level of the top of that fiber pot, it's tall. Every single one of those contact points gives a bug a chance to get up from that soil. 
So like I said before, I'm thinking about maybe even mulching this stuff right down to the ground. And I'm probably going to do that. I'll go out, I'll get some more of my straw, and I'll take this cover crop right down to the ground. And uh, see if I can't just get rid of it and mulch it to death. And uh, make sure it doesn't touch the stems of the plants. And then hopefully that'll keep all the bugs and the creepy crawlies down below and keep them off my plants. Because this is freaking madness. That's a damn jungle. Well, here we are with the little seedlings, and the cover crop is getting out of control in some of these pots. On the right, that's that little uh, ninja fruit. And you can see we had one that died. I lost my tiny warrior. Sometimes it happens. But I've got another bean popped in there. Sprouted a tail yesterday and I popped it down. Other than that, they're looking pretty good. The blue dream is coming back. And I lost my green ice. Just didn't make it. And then I jerked up the other cheese. This is the nicest of the two. I jerked the other one up because I have got some more clones started. And I'm going to put a couple green ice down because I am going to go full force into breeding that sucker. And I want two of them out there. So, Code Blacks doing strong. Green Cracks doing strong. Look good. I still got my little Triceratops. Neat. And then we had a little explosion of flies. And I told you that I've used some fly paper in the past. Look at this. Fly paper. I don't know what it was. Little fruit flies or something must have popped out of my soil. But, oh man. I wiped them out. Breedus interruptus. Roughly translated, kill you bastards dead. All right, guys. Well, that's about it for this week. We'll give you one last look around the main room, and then we'll finish her up. Well, here we are outside. I figured I'd give you a shot of this, seeing how we're going to be doing a lot of work on this. <laughs> Oh my god, what a mess. Over here, the chickens and the ducks in the background. Here's the garden area. See if we can get a view in there. And totally hosed up my chimney. <laughs> well, so this is the garden area, the family garden. We have a little walk through fence. That right there, that mound is a four-year-old hugel pile that is a hole that was like four foot deep this used to be an orchard and they took some trees out and there were some holes here i filled them up with stumps covered them up with good dirt and that is an incredible incredible little uh, mound there for growing god everything is so ugly after winter a little rock garden with a little mound there i've got those are cranberries high bush cranberries growing in there Got some blackberries growing in there. A little bridge. Because actually this overflows this little pond that I built. Let me get around this. Lined it with an old pool liner. It's about three and a half foot deep. It's got some goldfish in it somewhere. Generally has some frogs in it. But my 
ducks kind of made a mess of this last year. Back side of the greenhouse. Horses. And then my upper greenhouse. Oh. Swales. It's a little mini swale with a swale berm that when empties down into the pond, got a little inner swale. Got another swale here with a swale berm. Spillway is in the center on this one. A third swale here. And then a little fourth one right up here. Right on the other side of the upper greenhouse. Last year this had what? These four. And then it had four of those uh, 25 gallon pots in here. And, uh, or three of them. And this year I think uh, Rascal Farmer Jr. is uh, now certified. And he's probably going to be doing some breeding in this upper greenhouse. Um, he has a uh, some little super lemon haze started. And he thinks he's going to run some haze and see what he can't do. Doing some, uh, run some mothers over here. And then uh, start doing a little breeding over here on these pallets in some smaller 5 or 10 gallon pots. He's got 12 plants that he can have, so it should be a little, a cool little experiment. You couldn't even walk through there last year. Those pots were huge. All right, let's go take a walk down and we'll uh, go inside the greenhouse and show you how bad it is. What a mess. Just crashed right down on my pots. Took those bows and said no. The wood stove where I spent many a night. I was out here at 12.30 in the morning, I was out here at 3.30 in the morning, and again at 6.30 in the morning trying to keep that thing stoked. I did it for 38 days straight. What a mess. Well, you know what I'm going to be doing. I wonder if that hurricane's made by Timex. I actually plugged it in, it still runs. Just crushed. Doesn't oscillate. <laughs> well, that's it. What a mess. All right, guys. Now let's go and give you a final walkthrough through the uh, main grill room. So here we are back in the main room. I gave them a gallon of water. They're happy. Happy, happy cheese. And I decided that uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leaf strip the very first cheese. I'm also going to leaf strip the middle cheese. I know I said that... Uh, I had posed the question, should I not leaf strip one? And 
I am going to not leaf strip that one just because there's more room. It's got more room to grow in the corner. Some of these uh, side leaves before I took them off were already starting to get into this one. So I will strip the first cheese. I will strip the middle cheese. I will leave that cheese in the corner all natural. I will strip the blue dream and the green ice. And that will probably, I'll probably give them their first strip here, oh, I would say within the next couple days, and then a serious strip on uh, day 16, day 17, somewhere right around in there, somewhere between 16 and 20. So, you know what to do, guys. Like, share, subscribe. And until next time, this is the Rascal Farmer, and we'll see you on No Till No Worries.